Have you ever wondered why some people call Delta 8 diet weed? Is it really just a weaker version of Delta 9? Or is there something unique about Delta 8? And what about Delta 9 THC? Does it give you the same high? And is it even legal? Let's clear up all the confusion and find out the real deal between Delta 8 and Delta 9. I'm Shireen with MyPainCenter.com. Make sure to subscribe for more videos on THC and how it can help you live your best life. Okay, today we're gonna break down what makes Delta 8 and Delta 9 different. And most importantly, how each one is going to make you feel because that's the most important thing at the end of the day, right? How do you feel using Delta 8 or Delta 9? Let's start with the basics. Delta 8 and Delta 9 are both cannabinoids in the hemp plant that can make you feel good or as people say, high. Delta 9 is the classic THC you're probably familiar with or you've heard of, marijuana or weed. Yes, they're synonyms. Delta 9 is marijuana or weed. But I'm going to tell you what's the difference. Delta 9 is going to give you a calming, energetic high. Delta 8, on the other hand, is like Delta 9's chill cousin. It's found in smaller amounts and gives you a milder, more relaxed high. Some people call Delta 8 diet weed because it's like getting the good parts of THC without the intense mental effects. I know you're probably thinking, wait, people don't want to feel high? Yeah, some people don't want to feel high. And so I would say, think about Delta 8. Delta 8 is like the laid back version of Delta 9 where you're still feeling good, but it's not going to be as intense. So like, for example, if Delta 9 is that wild person at the party, you know, the one who's like head banging, like, Delta 8 is that chill friend who's just sitting in the corner, kind of just like, you know, sipping on his drink, having a conversation. Like Delta 9 is like doing rounds of shots at the bar and Delta 8 is like sipping on a couple glasses of rosé. Okay, I hope that kind of gives you a difference. Of, that's, that's my personal opinion. This is how it reacts with me, okay? Now, let's talk about the benefits. Why would you even want to take Delta 9 or Delta 8? Well, Delta 9 is great for relaxation, pain relief, boosting creativity, or just having an all-around good time. Users report that Delta 9 is beneficial if you have fibromyalgia, MS, or arthritis. Users also use Delta 9 for nausea or as an appetite stimulant if you're going through chemo or dealing with conditions that suppress your appetite. They even use it to increase their libido and for sleep. It gives really good sleep, by the way. For example, when I consume Delta 9, I get this burst of energy. I feel better emotionally, like I get a mood upliftment. I also feel more focused. I feel less stressed. I have chronic pain all through my body. I was actually hit by a car, like straight on hit um, in my 20s. So I have pain all over my body. I use Delta 9 to relieve my pain levels, put me in a better mood since it relieves some of my emotional and mental stress. And then depending on the dosage that I take, I do experience the munchies or an appetite stimulant. And I also have an easier time falling asleep and staying asleep, which like I said, is a huge plus, especially if you're someone who deals with pain or anxiety and racing thoughts at night. Now. Delta 8 is all about calmness. Delta 8 is going to help you relax without having that mental high that's too overwhelming. People report that Delta 8 offers a calming effect that helps manage anxiety and stress. It also helps alleviate chronic pain, inflammation, and discomfort from conditions such as arthritis and neuropathy. And similar to Delta 9, it helps with nausea and appetite stimulation. Delta 8 is also great for relieving stress, chilling out, sleeping, and again, like I said, pain relief. It's perfect for when you want to take the edge off without feeling like you're completely out of it. So I, for example, will reach for my Delta 8 when my pain levels are flaring up or when I want to unwind after a long day or a hectic day. While Delta 9 also helps me with my pain levels and relaxation, I find that Delta 8 allows me to maintain a more clear head. So like if I want to read a book or if I want to get some work done, Delta 8 also helps me fall into a deep slumber, similar to Delta 9, but I do find that my body gets heavier and I feel less of a mental high than when I use Delta 9. So Delta 8 definitely makes me sleep longer. So definitely plan on more hours of sleep if you're gonna try a Delta 8. Now, let's talk about the effects. How is it actually gonna make you feel? Well, like I mentioned, Delta 9 is gonna give you a chill, relaxed feeling. It's gonna give you a calming, energetic high that you might be familiar with from marijuana. In high doses though, some people might feel a little anxious or too in their head. So it's a good idea to go slow and start with a very small dosage if you're trying Delta 9 for the first time. Same rules apply for Delta 8. Now, Delta 8, your vibe is gonna be a little different. You're gonna also feel very chilled, very relaxed, 
but it's going to be more clear headed. Like I mentioned, you're going to feel more body heavy. So it's perfect for when you want to unwind without feeling completely zoned out. You might also feel a mild head high, but it, again, it's going to be more of a body high, leaving you feeling calm, comfortable, and in control. Now, the key difference is how Delta 8 and Delta 9 make you feel comes to how they attach to the receptors in your body. We all have an endocannabinoid system that runs from our brains to our feet, and we have receptors. Now, Delta 8 and Delta 9 connect to these receptors. Delta 8 has a different structure, so that way it binds differently, giving you more of a body high instead of a strong head high, versus Delta 9 is going to connect to the receptors in your brain, and that's why you're going to get a strong head high. So. Think of Delta 8 as a smoother, more relaxed ride compared to Delta 9. But remember, everyone reacts differently. So what I might be saying works for me or how I react to it might be different for you. So I highly suggest you try both and decide what you like for yourself. Okay, now the big question. Is Delta 8 and Delta 9 even legal? Can you believe it? But yes, they are both legal federally because they come from hemp and they were federally legal under the farm bill that was signed, okay? So you can buy this stuff completely 100% legal. Now, Delta 8 has become super popular in the past few years. People are looking for something that gives them a relaxed vibe, helps them relieve pain, fall asleep without going overboard in terms of getting high. I know, you probably still, some of you are still like, wait, who are these people? They exist. I actually am one of them. I always don't always like to get high because sometimes I want to do something productive. Now. While Delta 9 THC is also gaining in popularity because here's the thing with Delta 9 THC, it is weed, it is marijuana, but it is legal. You can go online, purchase it without visiting a dispensary, without a prescription, without a medical marijuana card. For example, on our site, we sell dispensary grade 10 milligram THC gummies, which is the max that you can buy in a dispensary. And we will ship it to your place of residence and it's 100% legal, you guys, okay? so. That is the lowdown on hemp derived Delta 8 and Delta 9. Two sides of the same coin, but with totally different vibes. So if you're looking for a true marijuana high, Delta 9 might be the way to go. But if you want to have a more relaxed um, feeling without the strong mind high, Delta 8 could be the perfect fit. Again, it's going to be trial and error. We have customers who like one over the other for pain, one over the other for sleep. Some like them both. They combine them. It's all going to be personal preference. So what do you think? What's your favorite, Delta 8 or Delta 9? Let me know in the comments which one you like better and how it made you feel. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button for more videos. I'll see you next time.